Paul, not really sure where to start with that. What's your instant reflection? Frustration, disappointment. Not not with the, the not with anything to do with us and our football club. I thought everyone connected with our football club were fantastic. You know the players, the staff. Um, who had to stand up, obviously, when I'm in the stand, and, and the fans, everyone magnificent. But they've been let down by. I don't want to go on about it. You know, I don't like moan about the rest. But one decision in particular, you know, was just scandalous, and and for me that should have been a sending off, and it should have been then the pattern of the game. But we've been let down. Yeah, you should be here talking about the application of the players again after 120 minutes at Rugby Park. They've left everything on the field again. Left everything on the field, which which we know. We know they want to do it. No, we expect we expect that, uh, and also play some really good football. Really good football in spells second half where we could break, you know. And, and Celtic had to result to bringing us down when we were breaking away. So we uh, we can be pleased with the players, proud of the players. Overriding thing for me is disappointment that us as a football club has been let down and, we, and we've, we've got to fight for what we think is right and we've been let down today massively. It's a team performance obviously uh, but a few unsung heroes out there, Christian Deutsch has had to bide his time, obviously happy with what he gave you today. Yeah he had to bide his time, um, coming up here I spoke to Christian at the beginning of the week about he's come up here because we like what he does, don't have to come up here and try and play like anybody else, he has to bring and show his qualities and I think everyone can see in the last two games that he's done that, led the line superbly well. Melker Halberg's another one, I think that's three or four games he's played now since May, he went a long time without football, your thoughts on him? Yeah, well, he deserves a lot of credit, he's uh, he's looked after himself tremendously well before we got the deal done, you can see that, he, he came in and was able to, to come in and play games, he's, he's not had a pre-season with us, he had to have his first football in our first team uh, and then he's come through this week playing you know, three games in six days. So we're delighted with him, for him, it shows he's a, he's a good professional lad and again I'm expecting more to come from him, he's, he's had to find his feet in the first team in some big games for us so I'm expecting more to come from him as he settles in. Finally, when you look back in the, the last week, what do you take from it? Uh, I think it's lessons for, for the players and the fans and everything, everyone, that's, everyone sticks together and we all get what we deserve, although well, not today from outside influences so it's a big one for me and the players understanding that we have to look like a team, we want to play like a team, never want to be individuals, no individuals will win anything and, and it feels great, you know, they, they're gutted like me because they feel like they've been let down, but we'll have to make sure that they are proud of what they've done, they've been fighting against the hell of a lot today.